Welcome back to JStories, where we deliver innovative ideas and technology from Japan over to you across the globe. I'm your host, Toshi Maeda, and here's a quick look at this week's JStories. A Japanese startup wants to create edible houses. It sounds like the story of Hansel and Gretel, but this is no fairy tale. Instead of gingerbread, Tokyo startup Fabula is making building materials from waste food such as onion skins, misshapen vegetables, and coffee grinds. The food is dried, pulverized, and molded into shape under high pressure and heat. The strongest material the company has produced so far uses Chinese cabbage and has four times the bend strength of concrete. The company is also working on tableware and furniture. As the material retains the characteristics of the food waste, there are some interesting possibilities. For example, coffee shop furniture with the color and aroma of coffee grinds. The central Japan region of Bishu has a wool producing heritage to rival Vieira in Italy or Huddersfield in the UK. Now, roughly 130 year old Japanese company Mitsuboshi is weaving tradition with innovation to create a 21st century recycling business. The project makes use of the traditional hanmo method to reclaim wool, then turn it into yarn for new clothes. But the new spin on an old technique is the involvement of customers. At an event in July, members of the public helped sort and take apart 400 garments for recycling. The company plans to start selling new clothes made from the reclaimed wool this October. The fashion industry is often criticized for its environmental impact, but the company hopes this project will promote recycling and help them see wool as a natural, eco-friendly material. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.